So I thought today it would be kind of cool to go through my physical Switch collection. I don't have a huge collection, but I have some cool games. So let's go through them. <laughs> First off, we have Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is a game I didn't really think I'd enjoy that much, but I was pretty surprised. It's really chill. I enjoy helping Blathers out with the museum and the cafe is super cute and fun. It's a really good game for a day that you just need to relax and chill. The first really cool game that I'm super excited about is Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon, everybody. This is a remake of a Wii game, uh, and they don't sell it physically here, but uh, I got it imported. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. It's a game I haven't finished yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it in Final Fantasy year. It's really fucking cute, and I can't wait to play through it. Next up is Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remaster. Um, weird thing about this, only X is physical, uh, X2 is digital. Um, but yeah, it's a good game. It's one of my favorite Final Fantasies. The story is really good. The characters are super fun. If you enjoy old PS2 games, that is your game for sure. Next on the list is Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Final Fantasy XII is like my all-time favorite game. I have this, I have it on Steam, and I have the original PS2 Collector's Edition. Like, I never get tired of this game. It's basically Star Wars Final Fantasy, for lack of better words. I can just sink a ton of hours into it. Grinding's not a problem because I added this whole like bounty hunting side quest system. It's just a ton of fun and I've always enjoyed it. It's got this really cool battle system where you can like program your party members so everything can be automatic if you really want it to and as a hobbyist programmer it's been a pretty fun experience to play around with. The next fun game in the collection is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remaster Edition. This is another one that's not physically sold here uh, so I had to import it. Uh, downside to this, unlike the Chocobo game, which fully translates everything to your Switch's region, uh, this does not. This is 100% in Japanese, so I am blind guessing all the way through this. You guys know I'm a big Zelda fan, so next on the list is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, this game is so good. They do such a good job of just letting you explore the world. Like, it's such a fun game to be like, oh, I wonder what's over that mountain. And then you go and climb it and find out. I've spent so many hours on both playthroughs I did of that game. Next up is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is a really good remake of this game. I know people get mixed opinions on it. I think it added a lot of quality of life to the game. Certain things like adding assigned keys for your sword, your shield, your boots, your strength, like... It's so much better than the old Game Boy menuing constantly to switch items. It's really cute. If you enjoy Zelda, definitely give it a try. Next we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This game is just really fun. This specific version I found kind of weird because you don't really unlock anything. Like you have all the characters and maps immediately. And so that was kind of interesting. But it's definitely a blast to just tell people in Discord, hey, we're going to do a Mario Kart night and have everybody join in and come play. It's super fun. If you enjoy racers and Mario, pick it up. It's always a good time. <laughs> Finally, we have The World Ends With You Final Remix. This game's super cool. It's made by the guy who did Kingdom Hearts. He did a lot of Final Fantasy character design too. Um, it's a really weird game, like the battle mechanics and stuff, but it's really cool once you get into it. One of my mods really had to hold my hand and teach me around the battle system with the pins, but once I got into it, the story is really good. The music is phenomenal in that game. So yeah, I super enjoyed it. Obviously, I really like RPGs a lot. As far as going forward, my only real collecting for Switch plans are like getting all the Zelda and getting all the Final Fantasy games physically. I'm not super big on collecting for Switch, but it is one of my favorite of the current consoles. So who knows, in a few years I might do another one of these. But I hope you enjoyed this look at my little baby Switch collection. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.